Andy Fordham was a British darts player who was born in Bristol in 1962. He grew up in London, where in his youth, he was a promising athlete and footballer with the nickname The Whippet. Andy stopped playing football due to a back injury and began to put on weight. In this photo from 1982, he weighed an average 13 stone at the age of 20. Around this time, he took up darts and became a pub landlord. By 1994, he won his first WDF titles, winning both the Finnish and Swiss Opens in the same year. In the final of the Finnish event, Andy beat Raymond van Barneveld. These wins helped him to qualify as the sixth seed for his BDO World Championship debut in 1995. Fun fact, Fordham made his World Championship debut in the same event as Peter Wright. Andy took out 160 to beat Nicky Turner in the deciding set on his lakeside debut. By this time, it was clear that he had put on a lot of weight. Fordham then beat Ronnie Sharp 3-2 and Paul Williams 4-2 to reach the semi-finals. He then lost 5-2 to Richie Burnett, who went on to win the title. In 1996, he beat Chris Mason, Andy Jenkins and Colin Monk to reach the lakeside semis again. This time around, he lost 5-3 to eventual champion Steve Beaton. In 1996, he also managed to win the WDF Europe Cup men's pairs alongside Martin Adams. Second round defeats at Lakeside followed in 97 and 98 before he won the World Masters in 1999. Around this time, his weight began to spiral out of control as he approached the 30 stone mark. He got back to the semis of Lakeside in 1999 and 2001 but suffered early exits in both 2002 and 2003. He entered the 2004 BDO World Championship weighing 31 stone and began the event with a 3-0 win over Brian Derbyshire. He followed this up with a 3-0 win over Tony West and a deciding set victory over Daryl Fitton, setting up a semi-final clash with Raymond van Barneveld. He beat Barney 5-4 in a great game coming from 4-2 down to claim a spot in the final. Ahead of the final, concerns were raised about Fordham's stamina in long games, but he stressed that he could play at his best for 9 sets or more. Fordham then beat Mervyn King 6-3 to become a world champion. Shortly after this win, PDC world title holder Phil Taylor said that he would love to play Fordham in a champion v champion game, but that it was unlikely to happen due to the BDO's reluctancy to let it occur. However, a game like this had happened back in 1999 where Taylor faced then BDO world champion Raymond van Barneveld in a game dubbed the match of the century. It was a one hour challenge and Taylor won 21-10, getting £60,000. Eventually, it was confirmed that Taylor would face Fordham in November 2004 in a match billed as the showdown which would be shown on Sky Sports box office as the first ever darts pay-per-view. Ahead of the game, Fordham fell over and broke his right wrist. This meant that he couldn't practice for weeks, but he joked that drinking 8 bottles of lager a day was making it better. He only started practicing again a week before the showdown with Taylor. This alcohol consumption may sound like a lot, but before games, Andy would regularly consume 25 bottles of lager and half a bottle of spirits, a shocking amount. He claimed that this was only to calm his nerves. Andy's weight had gotten so bad that his playing shirt was size 6XL compared to the large and XLs used by many others, including Taylor. The game, which was set to be the first of seven sets, was made even harder for Andy by the location, the Circus Tavern, known to reach boiling temperatures due to the low ceilings. The pay-per-view cost £9.95 and hundreds of thousands of viewers brought it. Ahead of the game, Fordham said that his wrist was doing okay. When the players got onto the stage, it was clear that Fordham was already struggling with the heat as he kept wiping his face. Taylor was the heavy favourite for the game and swept the opening set 3-0. Fordham then bounced back to win the second set 3-2, taking out 80-3 with Phil sat on tops. Andy failed to take out 40 to win set 3 before Taylor took it out to win it 3-2. The fourth set also went to a fifth leg, which Taylor won to go 3-1 up. 
Andy then reduced the deficit to a single set, taking out 100 to make it 3 2. Phil then won back to back sets to go 5 2 up. During these stages, it became clear that Andy was really struggling with the heat as he was swaying from side to side when Phil was throwing. During the seventh set, Andy said something into Phil's ear, letting him know that he wasn't feeling well and needed a break. Following the set, there was a break. When the break ended, Taylor was on stage practicing alone, but Fordham was nowhere to be seen. Ross Bray came to tell Taylor what was going on, and the commentator said that Andy had gone outside to get some fresh air. After a few more minutes, the camera cut away from the stage and a filler interview with Colin Lloyd and Rod Harrington took place. They then cut back to the studio where it confirmed that Andy, who suffered with asthma, was outside with an inhaler and cold house in a bad state. The following announcement was eventually made. Fordham will not play on. Uh, they've been having some medical advice out there. He was struggling a little bit with his his breathing, he was uh, quite dehydrated, he's been sweating a, a lot on stage. Fordham uh, will not continue, the uh, the match uh, therefore will be avoided, uh, uh, awarded to Phil the Power Taylor. Taylor said that Andy told him that he couldn't breathe properly and that the temperature had taken its toll. Phil said that Andy had to do something about his weight. A report stated that Andy had tried to cool himself down by drinking more beer and walking around in the car park, but that he couldn't cope under the lights on the stage, where it was estimated to be 115 degrees. Sky didn't give viewers a refund, even though the game ended early, as the broadcast had run for nearly four hours. Fordham apologised to the fans and said that the organisers could not risk his condition getting worse. He also confirmed that he was going on weight loss TV show Celebrity Fit Club. During his time on the show, Andy lost three stone in a matter of weeks and initially thanked the producers and said that he would continue to visit the gym three times a week. He lost in the first round at Lakeside in 2005 and 2006, later blaming his appearance on Celebrity Fit Club and other TV shows for his slump in form as he wasn't practicing as much. He suffered more health problems in 2006 but refused to seek medical help as he didn't want to admit that he had a problem to himself. But then something happened which meant that Andy could no longer be in denial. For the 2007 World Championship, he was a 40 to 1 shot and drawn against number 4 seed Simon Whitlock in round 1. However, he collapsed after suffering chest pains and breathing problems half an hour before his game was supposed to begin. It was reported that 5 people were needed to get him onto a stretcher before he was taken to hospital. Fordham was forced to withdraw from the game and spent several weeks in hospital where it was revealed that he had a severe chest infection and lots of fluid in his lungs. This was the wake up call that Andy needed and after advice from doctors he stopped drinking and was able to lose 10 stone in around 10 months before making a darting return. The weight loss eventually totaled 16 stone. Over the following years he began to drift off the dart circuit and he put on lots of weight again, returning to 24 stone. However, he caused a big shock in 2015 where he won a BDO place in the Grand Slam coming through a field of almost 200 players. Fordham was eliminated in Group C but recorded a win over Wayne Jones and had a very memorable game against Adrian Lewis. Tragically, Fordham passed away in 2021 at the age of just 59 due to major organ failure. He had undergone bowel surgery in 2020 and contracted coronavirus at the start of 2021. Tributes poured in from all over the darting world. Let me know your memories of Fordham in the comments section down below.